Hello, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. I have received another very urgent message from our Creator. Now, before I get into that, it is written in 1 Peter 4, verses 17. For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of God. Now, this message was received by a dream given to me by the Lord. This dream was given on October the 30th, 2010 at 2.50 a.m. I call this dream the end of the churches of men. Okay, so in this dream, I was by my parents' house, which is my old house, and while I was outside, I looked up and saw two moons in the sky some distance away. It was nighttime, and people were having big parties. Knowing what the signs meant from previous dreams, I immediately went inside my parents' house and started to plead with those inside to come out and have a look at the signs in the sky, for I knew what was about to happen. There seemed to be a few fat women lounging inside, and their response to my call was very sluggish and slow. Some of them even went back to sitting down on the couches and continued to do what they were doing before I came to them. I'd went outside after I gave the first warning and insisted that they came out to see the signs that was in the sky. Very few came out with me the first time. But before the other ones in the house decided to come out, which included my mother and father, I started to see very large objects passing very near our planet, scraping the atmosphere of the earth. And then suddenly, out of nowhere, a chunk of rock, a meteor the size of a large SUV, came at a great speed and just slammed into my parents' house head-on, destroying most of it. The collision was very explosive and frightening. The meteor was traveling horizontally. It did not come from above, but sideways. I was horrified because my parents and others were still inside the house when it happened. Now, while the house was being destroyed, I heard my mom panicking. She was constantly shouting, damn, damn, damn. But she, she was caught unawares like the, fools, like the foolish virgins and knew not what to do. While me and the few who had left the house before its destruction were outside watching, there were thousands of rocks in all sizes still passing our way. I was able to hit some of them away with my hands and we dodged the larger ones. But there was a big tree in front of my parents' house, and the Lord led us behind it for safety, uh, so that we could be shielded from the oncoming, from the onslaught. But from where we were, we could still see the old house getting pounded by huge boulders. Thus is the fate of the churches of men. They will all be torn down by the righteous judgments of the Lord. Now, the revelation given to me by the Lord is this. The house that was destroyed in my dream, in reality, represents the Babylonian church systems of the world and all the churches of men that are going to be destroyed. The huge boulder that destroyed my parents' house in the dream in reality represents Jesus Christ. It was nighttime in the dream because in reality the darkness on the earth right now is almost complete and we are at midnight. The people in the house in my dream in reality represents the different kinds and types of people that attend the churches of men. The fat women that I saw, and there were uh, quite a few of them, are those who have grown fat of false teachings, doctrines of demons, misinterpretation of the word of God taught to them by uh, prideful leaders who have gone blind. And my mother in the dream represents the religious, because in reality, she's the leader of a church, 
and she's very religious. Okay? Now, the few who left with me in, real, in my dream, the few people who answered the call and came out to, to watch with me, to watch and look at the signs, these few in my dream in reality represents a very small number of people, the wise virgins. These follow the Lamb wherever He goes. These are they who keep the commandments of God, the Ten Commandments, and have faith in Jesus Christ. They are the Israel of God. They will be shielded, they will be shielded protected in the day of the Lord coming. And the others like in my dream that stayed in the house. In reality, these who disobey God's call and remain in the churches of men, the fallen churches of men, their destiny is the sword because they have made their choice. Now, the tree in my dream, in reality, represents none other than Jesus Christ himself because he is the shelter our shelter from the storms now the last and final thing is in uh, Revelations 18 this is the last warning Revelations 18 we start at verses 2 with a mighty voice, the angel shouted, Fallen, fallen, is Babylon the Great. She has become a home for demons and a haunt for every evil spirit, a haunt for every unclean and detestable bird. And verse 4 says, Then I heard another voice from heaven say, Come out of her, my people, so that you will not share in her sins, so that you will not receive any of her plagues. For her sins are piled up to heaven, and God has remembered her crimes. Please understand, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, who are still inside of the fallen churches of men, according to those words, you will either choose to live or choose to die. You will either choose life, which is to come out of the fallen churches of men, or choose death which is to remain. The choice is yours. But I want you to live. Your daddy, Yeshua, Jesus Christ, wants you to live. The Lord bless and keep you. Love you always. Goodbye.